I am Anil Kumar sharing with you an application question on rate of change. A spherical ball is being inflated. Find the rate of change of the volume V of R which is equal to 4 over 3 pi R cube with respect to the radius when the radius is 10 centimeters. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now this is a very important question so I'll go for a general solution first and then substitute the value of radius 10 centimeter to get you the answer. Perfect. So we are looking for rate of change of volume that means with respect to radius right that means change in volume over change in radius that is what we are looking for. Correct. Now at any instance of time let radius be r and slightly more than r will be represented by let us say delta r okay so slightly more than r we'll write this as delta r so so the volume expression we can write as volume when the radius is r plus delta r minus volume when the radius r and change in radius will be r plus delta r minus r is it okay now to get this expression we have the formula volume with respect to radius is 4 by 3 pi r cube right so we'll replace r with r plus delta r so what we get here is 4 over 3 pi Instead of R, we'll write R plus delta R whole cube, right? Minus V of R, which is this expression, 4 by 3 pi R cube, divided by R minus R0, we're left with delta R. Now, let's expand the cubic expression. So, we get, we can take 4 by 3 pi common, right? So, we can take 4 by 3 pi common and we are left with r plus delta r whole cube so let me write first here r plus delta r whole cube minus r cube divided by delta r correct now, now we'll expand r plus delta r whole cube i hope you remember the expansion a plus b whole cube let me write down here a plus b whole cube is what a cube plus 3 a square b plus 3 a b square plus b cube right so here a is r and b is delta r so we'll use this expansion to the do the needful so we get 4 by 3 pi And here within the bracket r cube plus 3 r square delta r plus 3 r delta r square correct plus delta r cube minus r cube divided by delta so we get 4 over 3 pi. Now both these terms will always cancel. Delta R cube and sorry, there's only one term which will cancel, which is R cube with minus R cube, right? So this is this is very much there. Okay. Now amongst the terms left, delta R can be taken common, right? So let's take delta R common. So we get delta r within brackets. We are left with 3r square. Here we are left with 3r delta r, right? Plus 3r delta r. And here we are left with delta r square. Is it okay? Everything divided by delta r. Now you can cancel these two change in radius. And we have an expression where we know that delta r is very very small as compared to 1. At times you may also write that delta r actually approaches 
0, right? So it's so small. So we can ignore these terms, right? So if you ignore these terms, we are left with 3 r squared. So we could write this as 4 by 3 pi times 3 r squared. 3, 3 cancel. So we get 4 pi r squared. So that's a very important formula. We have derived a formula which says rate of change of volume with respect to radius is same as the surface area at that time. So what we have found here is that delta V over delta R is equals to 4 pi R square. Correct? So it's an important formula to remember. Now let's do the needful. That is with respect to radius when radius is 10. So we need to find rate of change of volume which is this with respect to radius when radius is 10 right 10 centimeters we'll substitute 10 here so we get 4 pi times 10 square which is 400 pi correct now the units are centimeter cube for volume over centimeter for radius so it's important to write this unit centimeter cube by centimeter so that is the answer for us and i hope you appreciate this general formula at times that is a part of your question right I hope you understand and appreciate it. You can always uh, search for my videos, Anil Kumar, Rate of Change playlist, to get many other application questions. Feel free to share and subscribe to my videos. Thank you and all the best.